All right, let's look at the last Keysight ICCAP device modeling application, and that's the ANN model generator. Have, have anybody out there tried applying neural networks to device modeling yet? If not, you're, you're in for a treat. You At your fingertips, Keysight ICCAP now offers uh, a really powerful tool in the ANN model generator. We've actually have quite a history of doing this for 3.5 devices with the DynaFET model that's out there for kind of mid-range power um, devices, and it's worked very well. And ANN model generator is an extension of that to kind of do a wider set of devices. Let's take a let's do a little bit of introduction to neural networks, ANNs, artificial neural networks. It really comes down to the basics: measure, train, simulate. Do I have your attention yet? There's no equation development required. There's no user-defined parameters, extraction recipe that you have to bring to the table. You just it's all about, you know, the, probably the biggest hang up is you have to provide good data and apply the apply the methods, the training methods, and it can fit the simulated to the measured data. Why Keysight? I'm not a vacuum vacuum cleaner salesman at your door knocking. Here's a straight scoop. ANN is not for all situations, but very powerful when it can be used. Let's take a look at when you can use, when we do recommend to use the ANN, when not to use it, and what is unique about Keysight's offering uh, the ANN model generator at this time compared to some of the other popular tools out there. To where we recommend to use an ANN is when you, you need to generate a model quick. At any design phase, it can generate a very accurate model that fits the measured data, a nonlinear model fit to measured data. Say you have a situation where the model just isn't available, it's cutting edge technology, or the model that you have, the standard model you have, compact model you have, is not accurate enough. In some cases, another reason is some, some cases it's just faster. It just, it's faster, like the quote that uh, is over here on the right from one of the Keysight Labs modeling engineers, they went from four months literally to two minutes with an ANN on a, on a gas device. It's, it can be easier to extract, but not always, but it can be. And, and the lastly, we recommend to use it to protect your IP if you want to protect your IP. Where to not use it is probably if you're going to replace an existing model that's working well, like BSIM4 or something like that, or tune an existing model. This doesn't, I'm not talking about a hybrid ANN model. That is something we are working on and probably share you examples here shortly. But that's where you, the core model is tuned by the standard model and then the external real world impact uh, factors are, are tuned by, trained by the ANN. What's unique about Keysight is certainly that Keysight Labs has developed this for our internal use. We have to stay ahead of, to have the fastest, most widest bandwidth spectrum analyzers and uh, oscilloscopes in the market. Keysight has to develop its own devices to, to, to stay ahead. And so this has come out of our own internal use, and it's a very powerful tool. Secondly, if you compare it to the popular neural network modeling tools out there, it's, it's really geared for device modeling, the ANN, and it can even handle partial derivative data. So that's like getting charged from capacitance. And it outputs a standard Verilog A model that you can use in any SPICE model. How to use it in a model generator? We'll see that in a in a in a in, a, in the next uh, demonstration coming up. But essentially, let's let's give you some of the basics. It it consists of Python library that does configuring the the, the data. It trains the model the NN model on the per the measured data. And then it outputs a standard Verilog A file that you can simulate. Probably the primary top level function is this execute ANN with setup file. But there's a lot of functions underneath that and, and so that support that that you'll see. But that's the main one. ISCAP 2022 update 2 now offers three examples. The diode, a nonlinear resistor, and a gas FET. Um, we'll take a brief look at the diode and uh and the, the FET, given the time we have today. And um, I, I, well, that will be showcased in the demo as well that, that's run from the, the shipping example. Check out this YouTube video as well that you, that you can access right now. 
Here's the diode example. So just to give you a little bit deeper dive into the flow, it comes down to training, evaluation, and, and output. And these are kind of the key steps that are done in each of the stages by the uh, Python ANN uh, library. So we execute the training, we evaluate the model, and we read out the output. It, it basically, the training and, and evaluation stage, you know, operates on IceCap inputs and outputs. And it creates basically files, like a Verilog A file, as I mentioned. And it also creates a, like a, a equation formula. So you can kind of see what it went through to get, to get the output model. And then you basically generate the plots, look at the fit. And as you can see here in the case of the diode example, in the, v, uh, the uh, VA equals zero volts case, it's, it's actually doing extrapolation quite well. Here's a look at the gas example three. And um, same steps, the same steps using training evaluate function. And then in this case, we're going to show you this in the, in the uh, demo coming up here next. But basically, it's actually four sub-circuit ANN models to handle the gate and the drain current and the charge. And that's what's being done. So it's pretty a little bit more complicated, but, but it gets an excellent fit for DC and RF. And um, you know, you get a Verilog A output model file that you can simulate in any SPI simulator. There's also a YouTube video on that, so I encourage you to check that out. Lastly, wanted to share just a testimony on, you know, you might be asking, where have you used this? So Keysight Labs has partnered with like Delft University and actually done this at like 4 Kelvin for a quantum application. You know, Here's the breakdown, like 400 different device geometries, a bunch of different bias points, three temperatures. It trained in about 24 hours on a, you know, kind of a standard machine with 1% RMS, you know, error. And then they, they even went up a stage and used that in ADS and used the individual model on a system and saw good correlation results. These are the papers, so I encourage you to check that out. Pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Let's tee the demo.